Chris Chinook here at Display Week 2022 Play Night Tribe booth. Uh, what we're looking at here is a micro LED video wall banner, if you will. Uh, these are composed of five inch diagonal tiles uh, of uh, micro LEDs. Uh, these micro LEDs, it's red, green, and blue, obviously. Uh, these are about um, 15 microns by 30 microns. Uh, this, uh, this is on a PCB um, uh, back plane. Uh, and you can see the pixel pitch here, 0.43. Uh, this is also goes up to 3,000 nits. So this is much better than you can get with any other digital signage product right now for indoor applications. And of course, with, since they're five inch tiles, you can make any configuration you want uh, whatsoever. So in terms of brightness and pixel pitch, uh, this is uh, state of the art. So you may have noticed that the brightness of the PCB-based solutions were about 3,000 nits, uh, whereas when they're on the glass backplane, they're almost you know, around uh, 1,000 nits. Uh, I asked about that because uh, I would have thought actually just the opposite. Well, it turns out that the thicker uh, conductors that you can get on PCB uh, allows you to deliver more current. More current means higher brightness. So if they can do that on glass uh, going forward, then you can get a brighter micro LEDs that way. <laughs> just a little piece of trivia. There you go. Okay, here we're looking at uh, uh, a new version here. Uh, on the right here is, uh, I believe it's an, an LCD for reference. Uh, and on the left here is a 7.56 inch micro LED quantum dot display. So what's interesting about this, um, they have done um, actually uh, quantum dot. This is a blue micro LED backplane that they've then, uh, I guess, I presume on each wafer, then they do inkjet printing to convert the blue to red and green and then do their transfer process to uh, to this backplane. This is a glass backplane. I'm not sure if it's LTPS. I would probably assume it's LTPS, um, but um, very nice looking, obviously much brighter, uh, cleaner looking display. Uh, they also have a version down here where they've added a, a touch screen to it. Very not, they're also very bright. And this over here is a, uh, a transparent version of the same, uh, same device here. Uh, again, these are very similar sized uh, micro LEDs, about 15 by 30 microns. Uh, here we have some, uh, a flexible micro LED display that they're showing here. Uh, you can see the resolution. Uh, this is on a poly image um, substrate with LTPS backplane. Uh, and it can show, obviously shows the flexibility of it here. Uh, here we have a 1.39 inch circular micro LED display. Kind of, kind of bright, it's gonna saturate the camera here. So bright, excuse me. And a 1.5 inch over here. As such, let's take a look there, automotive. Here's some transparent displays that they're showing for automotive applications. 7.6, 1.58, and a 9.3 at. Uh, and these are shown up here. Uh, these are, uh, the, well, this, this is not a transparent. This is not a transparent. This one up here is the transparent. That's running about, um, I think it's at 800 nits, or these other two are running about 1,000 nits. Again, same, similar sized uh, 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 micro LED, 15 by 30 microns or so. Let's take a look at their lightest device. Okay, this is their latest product. A, this is a micro LED on a silicon backplane. A micro uh, LED on a silicon backplane, yes, 0.49 inch. Uh, this is um, in, demonstrated here in a cube prism. I kind of doubt we're gonna be able to see the image here. Maybe a little bit, probably not, <laughs> but you get the idea. 
this is normally 50,000 nits. There's way, way less light getting to the eye through this. So you've got a lot of losses, probably too much losses for a little cube prism like this. So I don't think it's that bright. Uh, but this is the first uh, integration on a, on a silicon back plane. Uh, so very nice to be able to see this here. 0.49 inch, uh, 1080p, 4,500 PPI. That's, that's the important news here. So that's Chris Chinock here for Site Media.